ke a le dumelisa ka le bitso le letle la Kriste Morena ke tsa tsile letle lo modima re tseditseng lona re sa feleletsa selemo tsa tsin la ka jeno ke rata o tlisa molaetsa o tla o hopotsa hore modimo o sana le rona re phela nakong e o o tshuntse o re ka re le mose se sa fela o molomo ona le mogathala wana le ngona and therefore ha se gona fela batho re na le mogathala go ikutlwela ngona e bile le lefats le khathetse le fatsile le re phela ngolona but as re boletse ho tlwa khwedi ya december e thoma that ke khwedi e o re re modimo o thewile the lord has descended modimo thewile o tlile ba neng ba wona and now re bona jeso a re bontsa some three things that are so important to re Jesu re bontsa hore modimo teng ene re bontsa hape hore modimo wa re hlokomela ke modimo ya hlokomelang and the third thing is god who is here ke modimo ya dulang ditorison tsa bana ba wona ka pa ke modimo ya itulela mo bana ba hae ba lenteng so now in this time everyone o batla o people are searching for a, f- a kind of hope ona le tshepo yo ge batlang e go batlang go phile ka yona maphelong a rona go bana at the end of the day ha tso ohle seletsa hetse tse bo hloko tse monate tse jwang the one thing that we want to keep on is to have hope with us and but many times a re fitlele ntho tse o tse ke di batlang tse and e kwa mbeni ko endlela we get discouraged and we want to give up in pilweni zethu and as pilweni pilweni njalo most of us Impilo le gahle gahle siyazinikela we feel like everything has lo- is lost and be re phela maphilo a rona like ah it's it's okay we'll see whatever comes tomorrow tomorrow will take care of itself no tomorrow won't take care of itself tomorrow is got to hope that jesus christ is alimorena is alimopulus wa maphilo a rona and The, the 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 world that we live in someone says it's a meshed up world ke le fatsela go letletse tletse ka dilo tse ngata tse tsa go bophelo ba rona bo be what they call a diverse kind of life based on what we are experiencing in our circumstances in our work with the lord in our work with our families with our partners re experience abo phelo ka tsela tse sa tshwaneng and ka ba ka lore ke le fatse le leng hore le tlhakatlhakane there will always be the great highs and the great lows it's not only gonna be the great highs the hurrah moment only no but there are times mo leng hore re tlo utlwa go bophelo bo hona le mo bo ra hatellang ka paborisa mfatsete and now what i can tell you is that the joy that is brought by reaching what you set for is really encouraging ha ona ntho monate jwalo ka go fihlelle se o o neng o nna le tshepo ya go o ka se fihlelle now let me give you a metaphor think of an athlete who victory after victory always winning 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 let's take an example of two teams that are so great in times that we are in in terms of our context in south africa we can speak of mamelo di sundowns Every time when those guys get into the field to play soccer everybody it's like it's ready that ah, they've already won before the, uh, the game ends we saw the same thing with Amabokopok the way they played the way they planned victory came after every victory irrespective of how that victory comes as some people were saying making a joke out of it that uh, it's just one point they wanted to make just a point and i'm here to say to you again our god wants to make just a point or is still god that cares ibile ke modimo ya lente maphelong a rona so these two teams sundowns and amapokopok achieve great heights and now because we see their victories that culminates or brings us or reminds us that there's a form of discipline that they had the hard work that they put in the pursuit of endurance and ultimately that brings victory it takes something 
in order to be able to be more victorious. And the kika horror and kwedinya, mudimu, o tewile mudimu arol, o tileba nembahaya. So when we see that, we realize ore, tsepo, eo batuwa mba tabanga yona, o tolo eo baban leon, e ritli seta tsepo eite ma pelong arona ore, there will be moments, sometime in our life, when things are not working. But there is again moments, when in that moment we are learning, ore king eo mudimu, aruruta nyona, and those moments, they keep us focusing more mudim. Or indeed, there's God that we need to serve. There's God that has given us Christ. There's God who gave us Holy Spirit to be our comforter in our time. And there's, there's also moments or situations where that joy, that peace, that hope gets stolen. And today, as we are on our New Year's Eve moment, the question is, what is it as you pause and look back and say, I've lost this. I've lost this. And now, be careful not to focus on only what you have lost. But the, the important thing is, what is it that you, are you gaining out of it? So, the disasters and difficulties that we go through. As a country, you can think of that. As families, as individuals, there's been some disasters and difficulties that we passed through. And this brings mixed emotions. And when you put all this together, it's such a heavy thing, heavy burden to, to carry in our lives. But we need godly view in order to overcome in order to cross over from this moment on. We need to have godly view. And the question that always comes when we experience this is, does God care? Is God alive? Is he still with us? But all the time when we see other people, hopes being stolen, taken away, fear creeps in in us. And that takes away hope. But I want to say that in the midst of that hope that's seeming like it's vanishing away, there are moments it's like a flash, you know, a moment that comes passes by. Where's your peace in this moment of suffering? But there's an impact that we go through every day. It is the presence and the assurance that Holy Spirit is with us all the time. No matter the messages, the images, the, the stories that we hear that are so sad in the times we are living in, but the moyo halangwat and soothes us in our souls and break all these barriers that are stealing our peace. And therefore, we need to say that we cannot give up we cannot fold our hands. We cannot keep quiet anymore. We need something. And let me read with you from the book of Joshua, chapter 3, verse 7. I'll read the Kasasoto and read it again. Kaveshenia message. And it says, Morena Ariho Joshua. Kaleta Zilena Ketla Kala Hudisa. Underline that. Kaleta Zilena Ketla Kala Hudisa. Moba Israel Bosli. Babonang, batle batsi bohore, kitla bekele le kete kena le we, jalo kaiki le kabale mush, you know? Kale tazilena kitlo sang kitlo hudi sa na kile modim. Now listen what it says in message version. God said to Joshua, "This very day, I will pre, I will begin to make you great. This very day, it means." Mudimuki mudimia in the present. As mudimia in the future. It's God who's in the present. He says, I will begin to make you great in the eyes of all Israel. They'll see for themselves that I'm with you in the same way that I was with Moses. Yes, Joshua. It was a moment when Moshe was no longer around. But we scatilis almost the same. Now Joshua had to step in. Joshua had to trust the Lord. And in doing that, he had to 
find something that he can encourage himself on. He had to look around. Because many times we put our trust in people. We put our trust in our leaders. But our trust really, it is in the hand of the Lord. And Joshua made a choice. He could have done a lot of things. But he made a choice with him. I will keep looking upon God who dwells among his people. So Joshua, I tell you, there's an, a, a, a beautiful verse when you read verse 5 of this scripture that, that speaks on, on, on how the ark was, was supposed to be carried, how the ark was supposed to be moved on because Areca, it was an, a, 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 a symbol. In a little while, so there was a moment when they stayed, the ark will be there. When the ark was taken, the nation will move. Now, as we break into getting into the new year, don't leave Mudimu. Skasia Mudimu Momofat. Skasia Mudimu Konkunyahao. Skasia Mudimu Kokerekenyahao. Skamsia Museveti. But be with God all the time, wherever you are. Because now verse 5 says, Purify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do great wonders among you. Wow. Purify yourself, for tomorrow the Lord will do great things among you. And I pray that let it be done that tomorrow, Mudimu, in 2024, Mudima is a great thing. And now the way God does things, it doesn't operate. You might be waiting for midnight of 2023 20, 20, to come to cut off into the new 2024. But it's all that they are revealed the spiritual first. And therefore, be careful that as we enter in 2024, God already has packaged what he wants you to achieve, what he wants you to live in. He package in your gifting how you need to serve in this, all the anointing that he has put into you to touch Mapilo Abatu, to overcome all the kind of any form of darkness that we, we or you go through or people around you that are facing. It is the end of the year, not the end of you. So you need to stay purified. Let 2023 be the experience. And I believe that what we need to do, Corey, we need all the time to go through the experience. It's good to have an experience. But learn to understand that the experience remain in the past. What we move in into the new year or in the new season, it, is the, it should be a lesson. So what's the experience in Kakwa? And therefore, it means we begin to do things in a better, in a special way. So the end is ending, but it's not the end of na lady. It's not the end of you. It's just the end of the year. God promises Joshua and he said to him that he will make him great in front of everyone. Ah, what a spectacle God we serve. What an almighty God we serve. And that is why I guess David says that um, um, he prepares the table before my enemies. And every time when we start to talk of my enemies, we, we quickly think of people. But sometimes we are our very own enemies because of our character, how we do things, how we think, or the things that we think worth more, Mapilong Arona, they become something that we get entangled in and they become a snare that we really lose who the joy of the presence of the Lord. Enemies are not only people, but it is again the things that we do or the things that we go through. Your hurts and disappointments that you might have experienced throughout this year. There's a month that you might look at and say, this month was bad. But then check how many months were good for you in your life. For God of 2023, still God, still in 2024. Isaiah 60 verse 14, 
baraba ba hate le ba hao o batla o obamela bohle ba neng ba o nyefola ba kotsame maotong a hao e be ba ubitsa motse wa morena sioni ya halalela wa israel let me read it in bbe version and the sons of those who were cruel to you oh, look at that and though and the sons of those who were cruel to you will come before you with bent heads hey the thoughts are bona litla be because now so modimo a o phamisa ngo sona ha ba so utlisise so modimo a o phamisa ngo sona ba keke ba emelana le so their heads will be they will come with bent heads before you and those who made sport of you oh hey this language <laughs> and those who made sport of come on mom ben tseng se tsei sa moen that that thought that uh, out of you there can be some form of shame or can laugh at you will go down on their faces at your feet and you will be named the town of the lord the zion of the holy one of israel and now verse 21 says chabasa ha o sohle e tla ba saba lokileng na e be lefa la sona la ka mehla yohle why because ke mosebetsi wa matso aka o bolela jo of ke mosebetsi wa matso aka you know your people will, will, will all be upright people and the land will will be their heritage forever the branch of my planting the work of my hands to be for my glory all this tell me my dear son how do you so bana wena o di deserve ka pa wena o di hloka but the modimo so a setsa maphelong a gona o setsa ho bana ile modimo ya hloka ngore a tlotliswe o di etsa hore ho bona hatswe hore o teng jehofa ya phela ngwa magotla wohle so how bulela jehofa ke ma motho ya ka emalang khahlam le so modimo ba tlang o setsa phelong ba hao ha thewa modimo hore re tlo tsikinyetsana but the modimo o thewile hore o bele a serious business e o ge yetsang jwalo ge le kereke a ke 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 shagile lo mongwa bana ba borona hore mohle mo renteng the 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 time of festivities it's a very good time because the church gets scattered if you check is getting scattered but it's an opportunity yeah, okay, whether one is in vacation or wherever where you are you experience a moment yeah, hurry. you can pass through that hope to somebody that needs it you can speak life who the mambo pelo bobo ba motho omo ho ba ne modimo who has given us assurance that your nation will be a nation of people who are upright and they will inherit the earth or the land that god gives you so you can think what is it that you need to do on the land that is the what god is saying is that there will be no lack more pelomba there will be plenty that will be able to lend those others who are in need so how bolelwa se ke jehov then opetaits ha modimo aka kena le mererong ya rona ga sa kena le monsesetse ha modimo aka atlise pons halo ya hai hore melokong ya rona ke jehova e bile le le monsesetse it's a jehova ka ho sa feleng ha modimo aka a ha thewile ke mang ho bana ke potso tlamo ke potse ona ha jehova thewile ke mang ya ka thewlang nna ha jehova a fihlile ho bana modimo gore o tlotsa joshua gore e be ya moholo you will make him great and therefore if it's god who making him that who can come and pull him down no one can stand against the will of modimo tsepe e sa leteng ka jesus christ as i'm about to close tsepe e sa leteng ka jesus christ ya re fa matla ha e be le le mo semo le mo ba ke sa hao le kamano ya hao le jesus christ ha e be le mo se setle e se se fela ba ke sa lapa la hao bana ba hao mufumadi wa hao monna wa hao so hle mosebetsi wa hao ha e be mosebetsi o leng hore wena o fihla o tla thabela o sebetsa ho wona it might be in years o se na khotso se na le thabo empa o thotse tse o duja ka hara magatsa tsin la ka jone ke batla tlisa tshepo ya hore se o modima se bolelang ho Joshua hore o tla ba le yena moshe ha sa le yo empa modimo yena o teng ba teng ba o nong ba tshepile ka 2023 maga modimo ka 2024 o tlotse setsa ba o batlatsa mapela ha 
emme bohle ba o bana ba o shebela fase le ntso la modimo le ge ba tlo khumama tla sa lebitso la hao ba tlo khumama in your presence with their heads bent down they will come before you tsamaya tlholo walk in victory amba ngoku ngoba and speak with authority ka lebitso la Jesus Christ may the good lord keep you and bless you and i pray that all the blessings that god has for you in 2024 be the portion ya bophelo ba hao have a blessed day as you move in, crossing over into a new year. And I say to you, Happy New Year as you move in into it. May the God bless of all glory and mercies cover your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you.